Welcome to our Five on Five. Pleased to be joined today by Jim Westfall, the CEO of the Crater Lake Council of the Boy Scouts of America. It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Good afternoon. Thanks for coming. So, Boy Scouts of America, girls are involved in scouting, though, correct? Correct. Uh, starting about a year ago, we started letting girls join all of our programs. We've had girls involved for years in our older programs. But uh, we are now allowing girls to join Cub Scouts. Uh, we've been doing that for about a year and a half now. And then for about eight months, we've been allowing girls to join what we're now calling Scouts BSA, which is our middle school program, uh, what we call our troops. So Scout BSA troops, we actually have six of those troops that have started and girls have been joining those troops here all year. And uh, we're excited to allow the entire family to join scouting. Yeah, and so in, in your service area, um, we were talking about it during, before we began, about 47, 4,800 total total yep. kids. How many of those are girls? You think? Right now we're serving about 300 girls. So about 10% of our uh, our current membership is girls. We see more girls joining all the time uh, and uh, we're just excited to serve both boys and girls in the program. Provide that family that's that's busy and might have multiple kids to, to come to one program and be involved with us along with everything else that they do. Mm -hmm. And in your service area, the Crater Lake Council. Sure, what is we that? we serve a large territory. We serve all the way from uh, Eureka, California, all the way uh, north of Bend. So we're serving Northern California, Southern Oregon. It's about 16 mi 16 hours from corner to corner across mm -hmm. the uh, the mountain chains here in Oregon and California. So it's a wide area uh, and uh, very diverse in its population makeup and the different communities that we work with. Okay. Last year, the the church, the LDS church, as we were talking about ended its 100-year-old relationship with, with Scouts. How has that affected your numbers? So, so that will affect our numbers really going into next year. We will see, you know, some of those Scouts will remain involved. They've been very active in the program, and they're currently joining uh, both established programs that we have, and they're actually starting new programs to continue to serve uh, the families that have been working together for years as part of the program. We will see a reduction in our membership as we work through that. You know, somewhere probably right around 800 kids or so will be, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be reducing our membership. But then we're going to straight can, and look as a board and as an organization about how do we continue to then reestablish programs where those churches used to serve youth and make sure that everybody has the opportunity to be a scout. And that's really local. Uh, scouting is about being in your neighborhood, right? It's really a local program. And so to make sure every neighborhood and every school has an opportunity to have a program that they can own and, and take ownership of. Okay, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Much more in just a moment, stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Jim Westfall. He's the CEO of the Crater Lake Council of Boy Scouts of America. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Scouts haven't always had the most inclusive reputation. Has mm. that changed? Yeah, we're, we're now, uh, very inclusive. Anybody can be a scout, right? They need to, to agree to the uh, scout oath and scout law and follow those values. But anybody uh, from race to sexual orientation can be a scout. And so we're, we're open for everybody to join and be involved uh, in, in scouting. Okay. What misconceptions are there about scouting? I, I think what people misconceive, right, is, is it's more than just an outdoor program. Really, the outdoor program is the classroom. What, what our scouts learn and the skills they learn vary uh, greatly, right? So they can learn everything from uh, computers to engineering to uh, to uh, veterinary science, right? There's lots of lots of skills they learn, but really what it's about is the soft skills, right? What we really teach kids is leadership. We teach them how to engage with adults and other youth, and we do that with the outdoors. Outdoors is a classroom. So really it's about that, that opportunity to learn leadership, and really it's about the family. And I, and I think people need to realize we're really about the families coming together and working together to teach their kids character. And what a powerful thing that can be. Families that get involved really see how that character gets taught. And the kids don't realize that, especially at first when they're young, but it's really about that character education. So it's more than just camping and selling popcorn. It is about really teaching kids to be prepared for life, have the leadership skills they need to have as they enter adulthood, and be able to shake your hand and look you in the eye and, and talk and lead. And that's really what we're working to do. We just use a lot of different things to get there. Sounds like scouting is, is still at its core uh, the same, the values. It is very much. The core hasn't changed, right? The scout oath and the scout law, anybody that's been a scout could probably read those off and, and from memory, doesn't change, right? Some of the ways we go at teaching those things have changed. We've added a lot of STEM activities, STEM awards, uh, different merit badges change over time because interests change. But uh, bottom line, the, the goal of getting kids to work together in groups, to learn leadership together, and develop those, those soft skills, which we really need in our, in our society nowadays, really get off the screen, right? Mm -hmm. Talk to each other. That hasn't changed. 
Uh, the way we do it varies, but the end goal has stayed the same. All right, thanks for being here. Appreciate Thank it. Good you. to see you. Very good. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.